Okay, when you get your emails in your profile, they're going to look something like this. They're just going to show up here in your list under marketing and then campaigns. Okay, and now if you do want to change anything in that email, you need to go over to emails. I'd probably open that up in a different window and look up the email from there and change it. Now, most everything is already going to be set when we go over the specific custom values that I'm going to show you in just a second. That's kind of how they're all automatically programmed. So a lot of this is already going to be set. All you have to do is put in your logo once, your website link once, and that's it. But you do need to do some things to kind of look at the email just to make sure it's the right email that you want to send. One, you, you need to open it up. You need to check out the email by just clicking here and looking at the email. If you do want to change anything in it, don't go under campaigns, even though the campaigns is where you're setting the email system up. The actual email is under email. That's a really good way to think about it from right there. So let's go ahead and first set up the system just to make sure. What ideally we want to do is create a folder and create, call this folder 12 months of client emails you can call it anything you want to call it but we got this folder right here and then we're going to go ahead and just take each one of these and just pop them in yeah we move to folder here and then we put that in 12 months of emails and then 12 months of emails now the thing is for the 12 months you probably want to only use the months and that's really it so I won't take the time during the video to show you all putting putting all of them in there it's just you know it takes a few minutes but I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me do all of this in a video so now we've got four of them in here um, the thing is let's go ahead and pause the video and then I'll put all of them in there to show you okay so here we got all 12 of them and it'll tell you how many different campaigns that you have in the folder so again this is the folder the gray area is the folder and then all the campaigns are already created and put into your system you just ideally need to put them in the same folder now here's what you need to do most of this again is already programmed to fly but you're gonna need to go ahead and look at each email for one and individually click on edit even though what you're really editing in this part isn't really the email itself it's to see the actual email just check it out and if you want to change anything in it go to the emails in the tab over there and change it that way just remember what the name of the subject line is but everything's going to be auto populated with your logo here after we put those in the right settings your website here your twitter your everything else just already completely set to go and here's what's going to happen under the campaign figuration you do want to double check this if you really if you if you don't have the correct email in you can just go ahead and put your from name and email in here if you'd like and go ahead and click save on that you want to make sure that allow multiple is on that way it's telling the system that multiple emails are okay to go to that user do not make it stop on response there are certain campaigns where you might want to stop the whole campaign whenever they respond to something and put them into a different campaign but in this what we're doing for client emails that's not what you want to do automatically it's already set to go based on the month that this is that's why we've got all these in separate campaigns this is january you ideally don't want to send it on a uh on a Sunday or Saturday, uh, Monday maybe, but but Tuesday, Wednesday is ideal. So that's where we've got this set to go. And so we're going to go ahead and save that. And what's going to happen is starting on January 4th, because that's what this says right here, it's going to send the first email at zero minutes at that point. And then it's going to wait seven days and send this email. And then again, if we want to look at it, click on edit, and then it's going to wait seven days and send this email. Now, maybe you only want to send one email, right? No problem. Just click remove. Or maybe, again, you, you want to, you know, save this for another year. That's fine. Just click remove. It'll still be in the system. You're not killing it because the email is still there. You're just taking it out of the campaign. So remember, these are just the campaigns. The emails are under emails, right? Pretty easy, you know, kind of system to understand that part of it and that's really all you got to do and you know we're going to click save we're going to go back here we'll show you the next month that month is set to go everything's going to be set once we put our uh all of our logo and everything in so let's go to february 
and we're going to look at the campaign settings here make sure that yes allow multiple stop on response it's going to start on a tuesday february 1st and then this is going to go out and then 14 days later we only have two emails if i want to remove one of them just click remove to look at them click edit now uh this is the date that it's going to go out and that's fine now the only other thing is oh, the one thing that we do need to do in both of these is select the next campaign because it's going to work in a sequence so it's going to start on that day the next campaign should be in february it should be march so let's go ahead and make sure that the next campaign is selected we need to go back to the other one to choose that because if we don't choose it then and ideally you want to click the correct user there for that so we want to go ahead and click save and just to make sure because this is in one of uh, my clients emails I'm not gonna go ahead and put my email in there I'd forgotten about that so let's go ahead and go here uh, we're just gonna leave this blank this should go by default if for some reason it doesn't or you're having issues with the from go ahead and put your name and email inside there now the next campaign needs to be this is the camp January campaign so the next campaign needs to be February so I'm gonna go to February so understand this is January after this campaign gets over it's gonna go to uh, the next month February and we're gonna click Save and again under February just to double check even when it gets there it's not gonna start until that certain date that we've already got pre-programmed so again a lot of this work is already done for you guys a lot of it's already set it's already gonna go on in uh, beginning of February okay the only other thing that you're gonna to need to do again to check the emails you're gonna go maybe open up a different window you're gonna go and check the emails underneath emails remember the subject line and just look the email up um, and again they're by the month so you can just look it up here let's say you wanted to edit the November one maybe you didn't like the offer uh, well the offer can be changed for all of them but maybe you didn't like something that was said in here that you wanted to change All you gotta do is click here and actually change it right not a big deal not really really hard very 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 normal like anything on Facebook or WordPress or anything that you would do now the other thing that you do have to do for all of them is you have to put in your company information so where do you do that you go to settings and here we are under settings I open it up in a different window but uh, we're gonna go to settings and we're gonna go to custom values and we're going to put in all of our specific information in here and we'll show you how to do that in a different video one last thing real quick I forgot to show you in the original video you want to put all of them on published so we're going to go into all of the campaigns or when you you are already in there make sure that you change from draft to published after everything's set. Keep in mind if you have three emails in there, these are the three that are going to be sent out. Uh, and then go to published and then it's all set to go. And you should see all of them as published here in this area. And uh, on to the next video with the custom values.